All right, with the season's a cold, dry temperatures, winter can be a tough season for our eyes. Joining us with answers to the top winter eye care questions is renowned eye surgeon, Dr. Brian Boxer Walkler. Good morning, doctor. Welcome back. Morning. Top yeah. of the morning, everybody. Good see to see you. So, what are the most common complaints that you receive during the winter? Number one is dry eyes. Mm -hmm. Because we've got low humidity, and people are just cranking up the heat. So it's just the perfect combination to dry the eyes out, and especially if you wear contact lenses. Mm. Yeah, you must get a ton of questions about eye health. What are some of the top ones? We get four questions all the time. Uh, the top question is, can my contact lenses freeze to my eyeball? Oh, oh gosh. Wow. can they? Well, we're not living in a winter right. or polar vortex. True. Although people in LA certainly think waking up in the 40s, yeah. they are. Yeah. But generally, for us here in Southern California, you don't have to worry about the contact lenses freezing. And again, you know, being in the 40s, you just don't have to worry about that. Um, and I'm no weather person, uh -huh. but uh, certainly minus 40 and you know, 40, you're you're good in Southern California. Okay. Uh, number two uh, point is with the sun out there, can I get sunburn and sun damage to my eyes? Mm. And the answer is definitely yes. You've still got, through the clouds, UV rays mm. coming through, mm. even if you have a condition called keratoconus, which is really susceptible to that sun damage, mm -hmm. which I treat, you still have to be aware that you can get sun damage. Mm. Number three question is, why do my eyes get teary when it's cold? Mm. And the reason is because you're getting dry eyes in the winter mm -hmm. and they're irritated, so they're tearing as a reaction, just like mm -hmm. if you got sand in your eye. Mm -hmm. And number four is why do my bags look darker? Oh. I'm not talking about your shopping bags. <laughs> uh, I'm talking about these bags. Yeah, yeah, so why does that happen? There's less light out because it's winter, oh. so they appear darker, oh. and also you've got less vitamin D, which contributes to that. Hmm. Okay. Um, my eye doctor, a lot of people, and I'm guilty of this too, <laughs> will use commercial eye drops to you know, make your eyes, to get the red out, all that kind of stuff. My eye doctor says that's terrible. The, I agree. The, the commercial eye drops are awful. Yeah, because we see people have rebound redness that's permanent because mm. they're tricking your eyes to thinking, oh. I need to make more blood vessels because you've that's shrunk exactly. in the vessels. And now we see people with chronic bloodshot eyes and yeah. it's treatable, but still you don't, you only, let's put it this way, just use it sparingly. Okay. Do not use that every day. Huh. What is the biggest misconception about eye care during the winter? The biggest one is that, well, it's winter and it's cloudy. I don't have to really worry about protection of my eyes. But again, you've got the UV coming through. It's causing, over time, redness, yellow spots, brown spots on the whites of the eyes, mm -hmm. which is treatable. But you still want to have that prevention and be aware that you do need eye protection, even during winter on cloudy days. Mm. If you have the dry, itchy eyes, what can you do about it? Number one is use artificial tears. And then second thing I recommend is using flax oil. Now, oral flax oil. I told that to a right. friend of mine. They were oh, putting no. it in their eyes. Oh, no. <laughs> you know, and she's like, she calls me up, she's like, Brian, I use that flax oh. oil, but my eyes are really blurry. Oh, oh. Like, yeah. No, no, no. Orally, oh. right now. <laughs> Which is also, by the way, great for dry skin, too. Okay. And artificial okay. tears are distinct from eye drops. It's not the same thing. It's a type of eye drop, basically, right. but it's meant for lubrication for dry eyes. Okay. But if that doesn't solve the problem and you still have dry eye pain, mm -hmm. then you got to see the eye doctor. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, I was told once you cannot overuse artificial tears, not the eye drops, but is that true or not? By and large, it is. Nobody's been to the ER because mm -hmm. they had an OD on artificial <laughs> tears. Yeah. So you're generally okay, especially if they're preservative free. Okay. okay. And then um, some of the miscon not misconceptions, but things that we can do to protect our eyes all year long, not just in the summer or the winter. I would imagine sunglasses. Exactly. That's the number one thing I recommend. Okay. Sunglasses, particularly the wraparound kind to block the sun sneaking Those around. Those big ones, the big blue blockers? You can get the big Terminator ones. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. what Jess wears. You can wears. get the small yeah. little ones as Those long as they favorites. wrap around. Okay. And the reason is, is because, again, you're protecting your eyes from getting the spots on them, the bloodshot, the dark spots. You're also reducing the risk of getting cataracts, macular degeneration. Again, if you have keratoconus, you want to protect them from that. And also, a lot of parents forget that their kids mm -hmm. need eye protection, too. Just, I mean, they lather them up in sunscreen, mm -hmm. but they forget about the eyes. So get your kids wearing sunglasses. And to that last point, they should be getting their eyes checked by the eye doctor every couple of years, just like you go to the pediatrician, they need to get their eyes checked too. Yeah. Good point. All right, Dr. Brian Bo Boxer Walkler is an eye surgeon with the uh, Boxer Walkler Vision Institute. For more information, go to their website and follow Dr. Brian on social media. Thank Thanks you, Doctor. Thank you. Pleasure. You.